days, all days. Been a road, been a road. All right, man, this is a real special joint. I've been waiting for this joint right here. My main man, Brian Leverage, B, B. Lynch, man, from HD Wilson, man. Good, good to have I'm you, man. I'm yeah. on the couch. I'm on the couch, You're on the couch, man. You're on the couch, man. We finally got you on the couch. We've been talking about it, but, you know, you stay in the air, man. You know what I'm saying? All over the country, right? <laughs> so I understand it, man. Hey, Slim, I'm going to get right to it, man, because I, I didn't even, as long as I know you, I didn't even know you started off. In Southeast Washington, D.C., man. Yeah. Man, we'll talk about that, man. That part of Southeast where you grew up at. Around 15 Place. I really grew up on 15 Place. Mm -hmm. uh, 3272 15 Place. Still remember the address. Yeah, damn. Across the street from Wild Luck and all that, right? Oh, yeah. And nobody yeah. had more rice and gravy for me than Wild Luck. Oh, oh right? yeah. <laughs> Across from Lee's, the Five and Dime store. So I grew up right there. Just right. That's where everything really got started. Everything right. really right there. 80s, just playing ball, football, basketball. And like, you know, back then, it was just neighborhood. Right, yeah, you know, we yeah. was playing in the neighborhood. Right, so, yeah. street playing, street outside, the contact. I always hung with my brother and them, so they right. were six years older than me. So, I always was with the older crew. Right, and, and that's how I got, because I, I talked to my man, Benji, locked up, man, old 15 play. He said, man, you was, now he said, man, you was like 11. They they both 14, 13, and they all gonna to choose you. Yeah, I used to be the first pick for street ball. I'm six years younger than all of them. Six years younger than all of them, the first yeah, pick. Yeah, yeah, that's how I used to be. I was bone, I was nice as a kid. Oh yeah. Like I was nice, bone, like yeah. for real. Like sitting back looking at it. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have like I mean end up making it playing in the National Football League, mm -hmm. but I was really like as a youngster, I was nice. Right. Doing some unique stuff. Right. Playing with all the older cats, like my brother's six years older than me. I was the first pick. So when we used to play the neighborhood versus the neighborhood, they used to turn me loose, bone. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing with my brother and them. You know, he, I'm seven, they 13. So, I'm getting it so, in. So you so you learned that content because your brother's old in the house bumping with yeah. you and all that. So you, it, you ain't familiar with that content. You know all that stuff, your brother in the house, right, right, body punching right. you all day. Yeah. You can't defend yourself. <laughs> All day, you know. I remember people used to do me like Daryl Green, right? He say like, Daryl Green, hey, throw something in the trash. I started getting older. Like, man, I ain't running. He used to punish me, bro. They eat that Daryl Green, Joe. Yeah, yeah, he used to give me the Daryl Green. They used to try to trick me to do everything, right? right yeah. See how fast you can make it to the store and back. <laughs> See how fast you can make right. it to the store and back. Right, right. And I used to do it, I used to run. They be like twelve minutes. Yeah. Yeah, right. Be like, man, I'm gonna beat beat my time. I start getting time. a little older. I was right. like, man, I ain't going to that store. Right. <laughs> so that's when Big Brother started putting his hands on me because oh, I ain't want to do all the right. things I used to yeah, do. Listen to him, right? Yeah. But good times, bone. Good, good times. Time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saw it all though. Yeah, saw it we all. We was yeah. outside. So. And, then, and then you end up y'all trash on the fifty eight. Yeah. Northeast side or southeast side of 58. Yeah, like my fourth grade right. year. We remember they shut 15 place down. Right, yeah, yeah, all that. So yeah. they closed the neighborhood down. So we moved on 56 place right across from like Evans and Shad. I was right there on the corner of East Capitol Street. Oh, okay. 56 in East Capitol. So well, how was the how was the culture change? What's the the obvious difference you seen from that part of town to that part of town? The biggest difference was on 15 place when you walked out your door, mm -hmm. you saw everything. Right. Seemed right. like it was 200 people as soon as you opened your door, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody was outside. You saw everything. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You saw it all. Like, we was kids. We was mm -hmm. always, we stayed outside. So I never really remember being in the house. It was right. a different era. It wasn't like it is now where you right. stayed in the house. Right. We had, we maybe had the Atari, mm -hmm. but yeah. that was it. Everything else, yeah. you was outside 24-7. So as soon the lights come on, you outside. And then you try to be outside as long as you can. Right. And, just, and then you just hit repeat, right? So right. we saw everything. And what, what's, what's the total amount of people that live in your house? It was just me, my brother, and my mother. Oh, okay, no, no dad. Me, no my brother, back. and my right. mother. Sometimes dog would come and move in with right. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, dog <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. other than that, it was just me, my brother, and my mother. So Yeah, yeah tough, man. I, I, with, with you, dog, 85 of them, man. Tell me about some of them Jonah sessions. I know it was a lot of Jonah going on there. Yeah, Step real so, nice with it, man. You know, they was, I was always in the back of the car. Right, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They was in the car doing everything that they do, right? right? So I was always in the back. And like I said, I was hanging with them. Mm -hmm. So I experienced a lot early. Mm -hmm. By the time I was 12, 13, I seen a lot. Right. Just hanging with them, moving with them, seeing how they move. 
funny, you know how funny that was. Right, you know yeah, how they get, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. All the time, 24-7. And I just wanted to be there to laugh with Right, really. right. So they used to get down, do their thing, and I just wanted to just be there right. for all the sessions right, when they right, go down. Right, so they yeah. let me hang as long as they could. Sometimes they would get rid of me. But yeah. for the most part, they let me hang. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? I was that kid that was 15 up in 14, mm-hmm. up seeing Chuck up the classics, right, sneaking yeah, in with yeah. them, you know? You got the sides. <laughs> <laughs> you got the side. So who, who inspired you far as locally, far as the sports? Who you looked up in, in the community like, man, you know, he a bad joker, whatever sport it might have been. But really over 15 place, it was nothing to see like that, right? right. So it was all red skin players. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know... I knew everything, Mm -hmm. you know, I was a football fanatic, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you know, I was here, especially in those times, all Mm -hmm. the winning that was going on, you're having Super Bowl parties, Mm -hmm. you got Mm -hmm. one of the best teams in the league, Mm -hmm. you know, I grew up in that, Exactly. so I saw all that, so I would just watch the game on Sunday, Mm -hmm. and then just, as soon as the game was over, by Mm -hmm. fourth 20, I'm trying to do what I just saw. Right. So whatever it was, it was right. either Gary Clark, right. Daryl Green, whatever, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joe Thiesman, yeah. it didn't matter right. who I saw. And, and it's crazy because even the Redskins, it's been a long time since them days. It's like it's still to the day when people say, man, that's sorry. It'd be hard for me to grasp that because we was with it so yeah, much. And yeah, so it's, I'm yeah, like, man, yeah. it had been a while since we've been cutting them nets down the, over the here. The way people view it now as opposed now, to say, what it was crazy, back in the day. You know, that, that's how I've been. But, man, uh, Lil Birdie told me you was nice in that baseball field, man. They said you yeah, was nice in that joint. Yeah, we played it all. Um, only thing that really slowed us down in baseball was, I remember in um, Little League, we all bon, we was a game away. Mm-hmm. So, G Love, Mr. Glover was over at Kenilworth. Mm-hmm. So, he ended up getting a little team together to putting it in the tournament. That mm-hmm. way they'd be playing out Pennsylvania. Right. So, I never forget, he got us all up. We, we kind of made a little all-star team in D.C. and right. went out there. Right. And man, we couldn't believe Bone. They was throwing curveballs. Young kids throwing They was curves. throwing curves. They was throwing change ups. Man, we was so geeked up in the dugout. For one, we was just happy to be in a dugout, right? right? right so right, we was right. in a real dugout. Right, real joy. In a real dugout. Right. So we seeing them moving the pitches and they warming up and we over there like, damn. Right. You know, right. just little kid right. stuff because right. we, we ain't see a lot, Bone. Right. And right. when we went there and saw it, we saw this big pop with like 12, 14 baseball fields. Mm. Man, that blew our mind. Mm. That we mm. was like, well, I'm talking about real dirt. Because mm-hmm. we grew up playing baseball. It wasn't really a lot of dirt mm-hmm. fields where you had right. the dirt on the field. Right. You slide. Most of the time we played baseball, we sliding on the grass, mm-hmm. the base moving, mm-hmm. you know, all that yeah. type of stuff. So we go out there and it's real. It's official bases. That's when we first found out that the base actually go in the ground. Right, yeah, yeah. We didn't even know that. We used to nail it. Right, we used to nail it in the ground. Yeah, 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 right. So we That's found crazy. out that it actually went in the ground. Mm-hmm. And I remember we, we couldn't hit. First game we played, we couldn't hit the ball. Too much curry. They had and too we much had summer. people that can play, mm-hmm. really play, mm-hmm. but we couldn't hit it. And I remember G Love saying, move to the front of the plate. Right. And something that simple. That simple. We start tearing, start we start that tearing off in that ball, bro. <laughs> you gotta let that out. <laughs> and we was pitching. So we had like some pitches that we had one pitch fastball, mm-hmm. just throwing fastballs, nothing right. else. They couldn't hit it. Damn. So it was just going down, just throwing them. I pitched probably like six no hitters bone in my baseball career. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nobody God, never knows. Nobody knows. I got that. about six no hitters. God damn. And, that, and that's crazy, man. You, and you spoke on something you said, yeah, just seeing all the fields and seeing the dugout and all that. And it's amazing how small stuff like that can uh, have a big effect on you as a young kid to dream. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times, they don't even see nothing to dream these days. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. That, that's major. That still hits you today as a grown yeah. man. You can sit back and say, damn, them motherfucking dugouts and them fields. Now that, that's powerful, man. Man, what stopped Byron Leftwich from getting in the streets? Because you're right there on 15th place. You own 56, right across from 58. Like, man, what, what stopped you from getting <laughs> on that, man? Well, it wasn't that it was. It was right there, right? Right. And everybody that was in it, you was in school with. You exactly. grew up with, exactly. right? So exactly. we all grew up together. Exactly. And you know how it is. At a certain age, we all start... You yeah, know, yeah, taking certain paths yeah. for what we feel as though we need to do. Right. The truthful part, the honest, is I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I think I was able to see so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you six years old and you hanging with 12 and 13 years, mm-hmm. or you 12 years and you hanging with 16, 17 mm-hmm. years, you learn stuff. Right. You learn right. a little quicker and right. a little 
You learn, I'm not willing to do that. Because, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know, we was all outside, mm-hmm. but we, at the beginning, mm-hmm. in the 80s, mm-hmm. I remember 15 Place before everything got right. crazy. It was... It was fun. Mm-hmm. We, I still think it was the funnest time I had right. really just in my life growing up. Right. But at the time, you ain't really aware of what's going on because that's your atmosphere every day. Mm-hmm. That's all you see every day. Right. So you don't really see the danger in it. You don't really see the trouble in it. Mm-hmm. I just love ball. Right. And the fact that I love ball, my focus was always basketball, court, mm-hmm. football, mm-hmm. baseball. And I think in that occupying my time. Right. It was just idle time. We had so much idle time, but mm-hmm. it was some good people, good right. dudes right. that just end up right. going down the wrong path because of just circumstances. Right. And that's, yeah. Yeah. that's the tough part when you grow up with the way we grew up. Right. You have It happens like that. And that's you, said, you said the key thing, man. I just looked at that and said, man, I wasn't willing to take that path. And that's strong because simple as you say that, it ain't as simple as done. Because a lot of people grew, they, uh, the peer pressure of following somebody else or getting in such lane. So that was power. So whatever was that in you that made you do that at a young age like that, that that speaks volume to you, man. But at that time, people started losing friends. You know what I'm saying? I know you lost a few and know a few good home. When you saying them dropping around you, how was that affect you? Was that making you push harder on the sports or was it making you just look at the neighborhood differently? No, nah, it just, it, you always thinking, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, we was at so many funerals growing up, yeah. right? It just seemed yeah. like you was at so many yeah. funerals growing up. So yeah. you just, it's not, you're not consciously thinking, man, I got to do this and mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. Because I'm still, I believe I'm about to do it. I feel it. Mm-hmm. Like anybody that know me will tell you, I was, it was nothing for me to be 15, 16 saying, man, I'm going to play in the league. Oh, or yeah. 12, like, I'm going to play in the league. Yeah. The people, I wouldn't yell it, but mm-hmm. the people that was around, around me and knew that you hear me said, mm-hmm. and then sometimes I said, people like, man, shut up. Right, yeah, like, you yeah, know, because yeah. we ain't know nobody that did it. And I remember Big Zeus, Big Orlando, pulled up on me one time. I was leaving out of HD, and he pulled up on me in the big bins. Mm-hmm. Big, oh, my goodness. Yeah. He told me, get in. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus said, get in. I get in the passenger seat. I never forget. Right. My feet couldn't even touch the... Like the floor popped up yeah, there, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. so I was like, damn, feel like we was riding around the spaceship. Right, yeah. So Big Zeus just rode around with me for 20 minutes just talking ball. He had right. just did his deal with Baltimore. Mm-hmm. And we were supposed to go play a high school in Baltimore that mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. And he was like, man, I'm going to give y'all a piece. I'm going to have y'all a piece of pie. But I'm just in the whip and just right. paying attention to everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm everything. like, God, yeah, yeah. it don't even feel like he's hitting the gas. Right, right. I remember in my mind, like, one day I'm going to get one of these. Right. Because my old car was the old box Maxima. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, yeah. I saw you, we grew up watching the old yeah. box Maxima. Yeah. So my favorite car all, yeah. all the time was just that yeah, old, was just old box Maxima. Right. But then they came up with the station wagon. Yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And so I, them was the cars I dreamed about all the time. <laughs> and then when I got I was like, oh, no, nah, this is a little different. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got different. that spaceship. You said, Max, yeah. all right, but this is a spaceship right here. Yeah, <laughs> this is a spaceship right here. So I just yeah. remember just those moments of just, I remember just getting out that car thinking like, mm-hmm. Man, I, how, what I got? Yeah. How do I get, get one, one of these? these doing, one of these ones right there, Not right? Not the had a car. Yeah, I know I what you said. Never yeah. really a flashy guy like mm-hmm. that. It was just more about what I got to do to get one of these. Right, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I always kind of looked at it like, I knew it was things you can do to get it quick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just wasn't really right. willing to do that. Exactly. I, I love sports more. Right. And that, that wasn't really me. Right, yeah. That wasn't really me. Mm-hmm. Out the park, niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Been a road, been a road. Thank you for watching Changing Jewels on Kirkbone TV. If you like the jewels that we are dropping, subscribe, hit the notification, and share with some friends. And I see you on the next episode of Changing Jewels, Kirkbone TV.